All right, we're checking out the only game where you can give the middle finger to both friction and physics. Uh, it's Universe Sandbox. So, uh, Universe Sandbox just had an update that is probably one of the most amazing ones yet because it allows you to completely change the laws of physics. You may be saying to yourself, great. Didn't it kind of do that before? Not exactly. See, what before it did was it allowed you to take physics to impossible extremes. But now you can just simply change how physics works. Finally, you can get rid of things like, oh, you know, pesky friction. Or, you know, equal and opposite forces. That doesn't happen anymore either. See, if you notice right over here, the moon that I just threw at the Earth has the ability to do all these things like fragmenting and colliding. But what I could do was turn the momentum transfer off of the Earth. This means that the moon that I made is now effectively invincible. Not only can it go straight through the Earth and vaporize it, but it could potentially go through a hundred Earths. I really don't know. This also means that my grain of sand that I typically use to torture the Earth, which has now been completely atomized because it has no collision. So all of the atoms and stuff aren't hitting one another. It just dissipates into a fine gas. I can finally take my grain of sand and legitimately turn it into a rail gun. I think what's funny is the moon is probably very sorry that it just killed the Earth because now it doesn't have anything to orbit. You can see right here, it's crying. These are gigantic moon tears. Now it's turning into a delicious cheese puff and now it disappeared. Actually, it didn't disappear. It just turned pitch black. It's actually kind of cool. Normally the issue with my grain of sand is that it would typically just, you know, be obliterated by hitting something like the earth. It would of course destroy the earth, but I would be sad because it would be immediately atomized. However, going into my object is always one of my favorite things because I get to see stuff such as no survivors part two and Carl. I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe that my no survivors was my grain of sand. Ah, half a millimeter. It absolutely is. Okay, so now I'm going to not have it be affected by anyone else's gravity. It is allowed to collide with others. However, it will not fragment. I don't want it to get destroyed and it will transfer momentum. Now for the earth, it doesn't get to pull anything. I'm not gonna have it get pulled by others. It will fragment, it won't transfer energy. So as something like a baseline here to understand exactly how horrifying this can get, we will start at a classic speed of one light speed. Get way zoomed in and here we go. Oh, huh, I, I forgot. I had to give it an appropriate name. There we go. All right, physics can suck it is now inbound. If I remember correctly, I think the original name, what was it, like No Survivors 2.0? So it is now an invincible death railgun. What I kind of want to do is line up a ton of Earths and see what happens when I pass my railgun single piece of sand through all of them. And oh my God! Uh. I got knocked out of the entire view. This is what's left. A 93,000 degrees Celsius <laughs> fragment. Oh, uh, there's better fragments. This one's 257,000 degrees Celsius. Why not? So if I like, oh my God, if I, oh Jesus. I have never been able to vaporize the earth so quickly. We're gonna need a lot of earths. I think that depressed earth is just constantly letting its parents down. But if it wanted to take disappointment to 11, it could join the membership area, which would gain it access to 50 ridiculous emojis, such as full liquor bar. Legend members and above also get one extra video from me a week, where I do ridiculous crap, and at this point, there's a huge backlog, like drunk Minecraft, drunk GTA. We just did drunk music making. Actually, drinking seems to be involved in a lot of it. And next week, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but it's probably gonna involve drinking and kittens. And the God tier gets special discounts in the merch store and also custom-made emo jams. With a new one every month, we've got MLG Sun coming out in just a moment. Okay, so we need a ton of Earths that act exactly how we need them to, so we can shoot them all with our gigantic rail gun. So they all won't pull anything. They will collide. They will fragment. They will not transfer momentum. Now we save this. There we go. All right. 
I'm gonna start with five of these real quick. Okay, this is sweet. As you can see, they're all living in harmony right now. Now, normally, gravity would pull them all into one another and everything would go absolutely insane. But because we can simply make it so that physics no longer reacts the way it should, we've got five healthy, beautiful Earths. This is the oldest brother Earth. His name will be Kyle Tin. Achilles. Now I need to line up that like so. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna do half of a light speed this time. Right there. There's our single grain of sand. Not pulled by others. No fragmentation. And yes, it does transfer momentum. Change the lighting and now we can start with the world's first railgun grain of sand. And... Boop! <laughs> Keep going! We got one planet that was instantly vaporized. We're going for two. All right, there goes the second one. Is it gonna... Is it gonna come out the back? So I can't see what the hell's happening now. This Earth is just turning into a gigantic snowball of agony. You can actually see all the dust. 63 thousand degrees celsius and 0.239 deg light speed and once again it just gets completely atomized huh interesting my grain of sand only made it through two earths hold on i gotta try something real quick what happens if we increase the size of what we're throwing i don't want to get too out of hand here so i'll just do mercury no one likes mercury all right doesn't fragment you know i'm curious what happens if we don't transfer momentum what the hell magic inverted gravity i didn't know this was a thing what you know what sure why not who needs normal gravity okay mercury coming in currently i i really don't know what the hell i've done to mercury's physics at this point and oh so does it have no choice but to transfer momentum hold on okay transfer momentum on oh wow okay now it works perfectly oh it's actually sticking to the earth it is Pushing the earth like a snowplow. Hell yes! Equal and opposite reaction. There are no equals in my universe. So now this earth... This is weird because... Yeah, because now it's going to go inside of the second earth. So now it is effectively pushing two earths at once. Look at the rain of death that was left behind the two earths. We're dealing with 159 thousand degrees celsius although this earth is absolute zero well then i gotta follow these because now what happens so that earth just completely disintegrated and this earth kind of survived except for a gigantic wave of fire that's killing everything on the entire planet i assume if we look at the surface there will be no survivors okay there may be some survivors okay i gotta put a lot more earths in a row hold on oh yeah there it's a straight dozen 12 Earths. All right, we're gonna go a little bit more insane here. Still gonna use Mercury. About like so. Not pulled by others. Collision, yes. Fragmentation, no. But now we're gonna move things up to 10 light speed. Oh, and we're gonna invert gravity because honestly, why the hell not? And you know what? Because we can, let's make this hotter. Yeah, all, all the hot. Perfect. Okay, slow things down. Mercury not having a super time because it's, you know, a bazillion degrees Celsius. Okay. So now, into the first Earth. Yes! Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Into the second Earth. How many Earths can it move? The third Earth. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. You boys like three scoops of ice cream? The problem is I'm like slightly off center, although it's probably better this way. So now it's kind of like shaving Earths on the side. Look at this insanity. Okay, the next Earth that we come into contact with, I'm gonna change it so that there is collision. Hold on. All right, hold on. Okay, it's possible that I've broken physics entirely because our Super Saiyan Mercury is just taking its three Earths and just dragging them out into deep space. I'm not satisfied with this. We're gonna make this work. Okay, 20 light speed. There's Mercury. Okay. So, oh my God. I changed up some of the settings slightly. It is 
totally insane now. What is happening? All right, bust through, Mercury. Come on, bust straight through. I want to see at least 12 Earths get railgunned. Okay, this Earth into... Oh! Yeah, at first, the Earth doesn't seem to, like, even recognize that it's being penetrated. There we go. Oh, Lord! Oh, it's more beautiful! I'm actually kind of surprised. After, you know, the shotgun of Mercury came out the back Earth. That the game is okay with this much crap on the screen. I like how this one other Earth over here is still alive. The few Earths that are left. Actually, this Earth, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna invert this Earth's gravity. So all the Earths actually transferred energy, like one of the little ball things that go back and forth because none of them have gravitational pull on one another. Oh, so their fragments actually inherit the original stuff that I give their sad, divorced, broken parents. But I'm still waiting for this Earth to finally finish up what it started. Come on, baby, there could be only one. Here we go, no true gravity. It was just this flying through everything else in its way. And the last Earth is the one to survive. What is the material composition? It's tears. I like how on this Earth, it's like, eh, there's probably some people left alive. Okay, so we need something with enough mass in order to do what I want to do which is to put it through 100 Earths. A few hours later. Okay, we're ready to go. I need something with enough size too, so that if I'm not, you know, perfectly in line, it'll still be able to hit all of the Earths. All right, let me, I have to go all the way back to the front of this stupid Congo line. This Congo line of interplanetary sadness. You can't actually see the end of where the Earths are. Okay, uh, so normally I would say like Jupiter. That's actually way too big. Ah, Uranus, perfect. All right, grab this, bring it back over here. Okay, the velocity looks perfect. Now I wanna make sure that all of this is visible to us. So we're gonna take Uranus and we're gonna have it be moving 100 times light speed. But that's not all. We're gonna lock the size, but not the mass. I'm gonna make it as heavy as I can before- Oh my God, I was gonna say before it turns into a sun. Can you do me a favor and go back to just being Uranus? Okay, let's try that without turning it into the sun. There, let's stop there. All right, now Uranus can't be fragmented. Wouldn't want that. And it can't be pulled by others. Slow everything down. Maximum slow. And now it's time to break physics and the game. Okay. Speed things up a little bit. This is good that we can actually slow down enough with 100 times light speed. Okay. Okay, so far it's just eating the Earths. It's like a gigantic watery Pac-Man. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I'm curious if it'll just go through all the Earths. All right, here, you know what? What I'll do real quick, I'm gonna make it all iron just to see if that changes anything. I don't think it will. Go! Yes! Okay, so it ate every single Earth. I just shoved 100 Earths up Uranus. Not enough explosions though, so we need something smaller. Okay, I have talked crap about Pluto for a long, long time. But today, it will finally get some semblance of vengeance. Okay, radius, lock, mass, more. 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 Perfect. Oh, All of the God, light speeds. No. All right, move everything down as much as possible. Here we go. Okay, angry Pluto coming through the air into the very first Earth. Bam! Into the second Earth. And I think now they're starting to hit one another. Yes, it's amazing. Second Earth into the third, into the fourth Earth. Pluto is completely invincible. The first Earth has turned into, oh my God. 
What the hell? This fragment is 18 times the size of the sun. Whatever. It's turned into a gigantic... <laughs> it's turned into a gigantic Pringles. But this is perfect because now it has a ton more surface area to destroy all the Earth. Yes. Come on, keep going. Don't give up yet. Gigant... It is. It is completely invincible. Look at it go. It's just turning. Oh my god, I think I finally crashed the game. Oh! I did! <laughs> yes! Well, I wanted to know what would happen if I gave the double middle finger to both physics and friction, and the reality is I destroyed reality as we know it. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox. Until next time, stay fucked, too. Much love.